Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna give you guys four ways on how to beef up your videos, how to make your videos look cinematic, how to make them look creative and fun. And these are things that I use a lot in a lot of my videos. And I just kind of want to share them with you and hopefully they'll help your videos and they'll just add spice and flavor to your videos that may be like a little dull or where you feel like something's missing. So I'm gonna tell you guys about them and hopefully this helps and we're gonna get right into it. So the first one that I want to talk to you guys about is uh, from Motion Array and they are the different film roles that they provide. The great thing about this is they provide seven different presets and it's free. They're all free. You basically just go to motionarray.com and it's film role presets and you get seven different unique film roles that you can use. They're like transitions. You can use them as transitions. And so I use these. I love these. Um, so I started using these and like they're free. Like why not use them? That makes no sense. You don't even have to create them. Like you don't even have to spend the time creating these. They're, you can do this from scratch if you would like, but the fact that they're free and you don't have to pay, it's like why not find ways to make it more convenient for you as an editor, as a creative. So yeah, these are really, really great. They come with seven different ones and they're really, really cool, easy to use. You just install them into your Premiere and then you drag them on, or you can kind of like nest the two, the clips that you are going to want to use them on, put it on top of there and create the transition that you want. Super, super easy, super simple. Um, and they just add a little spice and a little flavor to your video. This is the second effect that you can use to spice up your videos or scribble effects. Now this one isn't free. You can probably find some free ones, but you wanna make sure that they're really, really good and what you're looking for. On one of my projects, I had to do an Under Armour video shoot and we wanted to add scribbles. I didn't have the time to go into After Effects to manually create these. And so I did go online and I found these scribbles and I think they were only $30. And I think I got them from Video Hive and I will leave the uh, link below uh, for all of these, but I think it was about $30 and it came with over a hundred scribbles to use and you really just kind of have to like bring them into your project figure out the best way to use them and as long as they fit and they feel right for the video you don't want to use them in every video you just want to find those particular projects that will allow these to work and they're super they're super easy to use you import them you drag them to your timeline you scale and you know create them how you need to be and they work great and and this is, I used them in like the Under Armour video and everybody thought that it was a professional editor who did them. I mean, I am a professional editor, but they just felt like it was really just like beefed up, super professional, like Under Armour created the video and they didn't. I did, I did that, yes I did, with these effects. And so sometimes you do get free effects, sometimes you gotta spend a little money to make great con you know, great videos if you don't have the time. And it's all about like, how to become a better editor, how to use your time wisely. You know, a lot of times, there are times where I have so much work, I can't manually do effects. And so like sometimes, if I feel like it's worth it, then I'll go and buy the effects that I feel like I need. The third effect that you can use is film burns. Like everyone knows about film burns. They're probably the oldest ones in the game. They've been out for a while, but you can get free film burns anywhere. You can go on YouTube to find them, or you can go on Google and type in free film burns and you you will basically be welcome with all these different links where you can download film burns and they these are really really good when you're doing events um event videos or sometimes even when you're doing like these handheld fast paced videos and you want to just kind of add a little splash into your videos and for transitions these are really really good i use these a lot they go really really well especially if you're in wedding cinematography film burns work really well with those as well um, and so these kind of help add a little flavor into your videos as well. I got mine from davidkatiefilms.com. Again, I'll leave all of them in the link below, but it came with 28 free film burns. They're free. So you download them and they, they're so versatile. They come in different like ranges. I've used so many different types of film burns. I have like film burns from David Katy, just from YouTube, just all these different places because they all kind of are different. And so like, you know, you can like download so many and just figure out what works for each project, but they're free. These are all free transitions and all free effects to use to add flavor to your video. What I usually do is I'll import them into my Premiere 
add them as a transition or sometimes just kind of add them on top of the clip depending on what I'm trying to do with the clip but you can add them as a transition and what you do is when you drag them onto your timeline you go and you can play with the blending mode I usually put on screen or lighten but you can play with that however way you want but again I usually use lighten or screen for my blending mode and they just look great they create an amazing transition to go into the next clip and then the last effect that you can use is a film effect so like right now the whole super a effect is in the whole you know going back into creating like the older uh film effect to get a film vibe is in right now i purchased them you can probably download them uh, on youtube or you can also go on youtube to see how people create them i purchased them because i feel like the one that i purchased gave the amazing look i know jacob owens also has it where you can purchase on his site different film effects he also has film burns on his site as well so not only does he have the film effect and he has like the super a overlays he has film burns as well so you can actually do a one-stop shop on tropic color but you can also go on youtube if you want to find free or if you want to find cheaper whatever it is and however way it works for you this is just another way to add flavor into your videos by creating uh getting that film effect overlay to make it look like you shot it on a super 8 and to give it like a real film look if you're trying to go and like give that old school 70s 80s kind of vibe so i've used this as well in a lot of my videos i love the way it looks again you have to like really think about like how you want the videos it, it's not it shouldn't go in every video but like if it works for the videos and the projects that you're doing this is a great effect you can use this on top of the clip um, the one that I like is really, really cool. It gives you different mats as well as different kind of overlays. You know, if you want these different effects, they're really, really cool. Again, motion array, they give you like that, that offset roll. You get the film roll, which is really, really cool. You don't have to do anything. They give you all the keyframes. Everything is ready for you for a transition for your uh, project. Then you also get the film burns, which just adds a little spice into your videos for a transition, adds a little color, creates that little burn. And then you have the film effect, of course which is really really cool gives you that um older cinematic look gives you that film look that everyone is loving to do right now and then you have the scribble effect which is different from all the film effects but it's really really cool when you're trying to get into like creating videos like nike does or creating these super cool super fast handheld creative videos and you want to do something like a lot different um, all these are really, really cool to use. I use them all, and so I hope that they really help you. It's all just about being creative, playing with different effects. A majority of these are free, which is another great thing. If you don't want to buy any of them, you just want to see how they work, you can do that. For all the ones that I have specifically, I will add the link below for all the ones that I have. But again, this is not where it stops. You can go on YouTube, you can go on Google, you can search. YouTube has free ones. You can download them. So I hope this really helped you guys. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Share this video with your friends if they're looking for any kind of effects. As well as make sure you guys subscribe to my video. I am almost at a thousand subscribers. I am at 950. I only need 50 more. And we are at a thousand subscribers, guys. I'm so excited. Um, this has been a long time coming. But I just want to continue to keep producing content that's going to help you guys it's going to um, inspire you guys and just to create dope content um and just kind of like get out there and be the best filmmakers that you can be if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments below and i will make sure that i answer them thank you guys and have a great day